Hello everyone, welcome to part 59 of Laravel 10 series in which we, we are working on the e-commerce admin panel and we will continue working on the product image module. Okay, so in this video we are going to work on the sorting of product images. In the last video we have seen that we are able to show the product images, we are able to update and delete them as well. Okay, so this is the field from where we can upload the multiple product images and once again I am going to insert some of the product images and uh, from this form we can able to upload the plug images and once again i'm going to open the dummy image uh, website from where we can generate the dummy images okay so you can write even the test of any site like i'm going to add the large image that we want 1040 into 1200 is the image that we want and here i'm going to write like dummy image okay dummy image okay so here uh, you can see dummy image is written here okay so we can uh, give uh, the foreground color you can change the color as well if you want to give the ch uh, change the color of uh, and i want to make it like png okay and here i can give any color okay you can give any color here and background color also you can change of your own choice okay so I am going to uh, save this image file save as I can save this image okay uh, fine and now I can use this image as well I am going to select this image and I am going to upload this image okay going to this one. though we can able to upload the multiple images as well okay so now you can see the multiple images here and now we are going to add the sort option that which one uh, you are going to give the one and you are going to give the two okay so here we have already uh, is, uh, having the image sort column but right now we are given the zero because right now there is no sort is given to these images so sort helps us uh, to for the sorting of the images that which one we can show at the top and which one is at the bottom okay so now uh, i'm going to uh, open that add edit product file once again add edit product and here i'm going to add the sort uh, column and uh, here it is okay so sort column i'm going to give after this one okay uh, so here I'm going to give like input type test and name I'm going to give image underscore sort and uh, this one I am going to uh, give it as as an array I think I need to give it as an array because there are multiple image sort for the multiple images and here also see value also we are going to insert here suppose if the there is already the image sort is given so that it will show that image underscore sort and also we are going to give the uh, placeholder will not work here though okay so now i'm going to show uh, going to check this one here okay so this is the image sort and we are going to give some styling to it reduce the width for this one uh, we are going to make it with like 60 pixel we're going to try not 60 30 pixel 20 pixel maybe uh, 30 pixel okay fine so here like you can give the one you can give the 10 you can give the 100 so it's your choice you can give the sorting uh, of any number okay also we need to pass here the uh, image uh, product image as the hidden okay uh, so that we can uh, able to update the sort of that particular image okay we are going to take it as hidden then name as image like this and value image image 
fine so now we can check once that whether we are sending the correct image names with the sort fine it is okay so we can send them as, them as the hidden okay so now uh, we are going to modify the press controller once again add edit prep function and here uh, after saving uh, we are going to update the sort as well uh, okay so it will work in the case of edit only so after this we are going to add it here okay uh, here uh, update products images so or sort product images fine so here once again if dollar id is not equal to empty only then in case of add uh, we are not working for this in case of edit we will work so first thing is we're going to check whether any sorting is coming or not dollar data image that whether it is coming or not okay so if it is coming then we are going to add the for each loop here and here we are going to give the dollar data image as well and here we are going to give image once again and here in prox image we are going to update the sort for all the images prox image we are uh, going to check with the where condition uh, where product id product id we already know that we are going to compare it with the dollar id or dollar product id okay dollar id we are having in the case of audit okay and also uh, image we are going to compare with the image as well that we are sending as the hidden field okay and that we are getting here dollar image and finally we are going to update uh, the image sort here and image sort also we are sending from the form dollar data image sort and here the key key is really necessary here dollar key okay so now we are going to check here that whether we able to update the sort option like right now the sort is zero for both the images so i want to sort i want to show this purple image at the top one and this one at the bottom two okay one and two i'm going to submit and we'll see that whether i able to update this sort yes i able to update this sort as well i'm going to check it now uh, once again that uh, the purple is having uh, the option as one fine and this one is two so it's fine so i'm going to give the option for purple is 100 and this one is 20 okay 20 for black and 100 for purple 20 for black and 100 for purple remember 20 for black and 100 for purple and here i'm going to check 20 for black and 100 for purple it's fine 20 for black and 100 for purple so we able to give this sort for our images as well okay so like this we can able to sort our product images and uh after sorting we are going to use them at the front end it it is going to useful at the front end not right now but uh, it will be really beneficial for us at the front end so in the next video uh we are going to add the validation for the product images we, we need to make sure that the images are only png jpg and gif okay only these images we are going to allow so we are going to add the validation for the product images and after that we are going to add the product attributes here okay in this form only we are going to add the product attributes no separate rule for the attributes we are going to add the product, I mean, uh, product attributes from this form only after that we are going to work on the brands okay brands is necessary to see every product is having some brand so that brand module we are going to add after that we will start working on the front end so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye